everyone, this is Liberian TV Network. Today, I'm going to show you around Smart Institute, Smart Community. So this here is Smart Institute Community, but we are not, we are not going to reach to the school today. But I'm just going to show you developments along this, uh, around this place, in this community, okay? So now, as you can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful building owned by a library. Like these places used to be Boucher areas in 2000 or uh, 2002, all these houses wasn't around. But now see, people are building their homes, people are building places here in Liberia because the, um, they feel that, okay, this is my home, of, I, I cannot abandon it. So people are coming back home to build. There are some people who have these homes, but they are not around. They are in other countries and they are uh enjoying their lives but they have something back home because with time you will get um with time you will feel uh, uh you will get old you will retire and then you need place to rest you just need to come back home and stay and have your life okay so if you look around here today today i'm going to show you developments things that people are doing here in Liberia. See this other fence again. There are a lot of buildings in this fence. Almost about six apartments, but I can't, I can't see them now because the, build, the, the fence is so tall. You know, we are building here in Liberia. <clears throat> we don't show the beauty of the houses because of the criminal rates. So more people build high up fence to protect their areas. So that's why you will see that these areas are built like that. See how this fence is so solid, like really, really strong. It's like, uh, they, I think they built it with rock. They built this fence with rock. So you see all this design. But if you see the fence, trust me, the houses inside inside this uh, fence is so beautiful. The place is nice. When you even see there, you feel like, I want to live here. I want to live here. You feel the, uh, the, the houses are calling you to move in, inside them. Okay? So try hard wherever you are. If you don't have any property here in Liberia, try hard. Come home and build something for yourself. Okay? It's easy. There are a lot of people to trust. And you just need to find the right person. Don't feel discouraged. Don't feel that, okay, um, I have tried other people and my money got, uh, and they wasted my money. They stole my money so I can invest in Liberia again. Don't, don't have that mindset. There are other people who are sincere that you can trust in, okay? So keep following us as we show you around. The road might not be so good because this is a community road and we are now in the rainy season. So you will find out that most of the places we are going to be showing you, you see nice houses, but the road will be so bad. Like this road we are on right now, it is so bad because of the rainy season and they haven't paved this road yet. We are right now dealing with the main road to RRA. So you will see that roads along these places will not be so good but with time we'll fix all these places you will see the roads there will be so good okay so as you can see you will see newly constructed buildings trust me this house the way it is right now this person is just waiting for the rain, rainy season to slow down and then they continue with their house. So in like six months, probably, when you come here, you will notice that this is this place is just a full house and a very beautiful one. It might not even reach six months, okay? They are going to fix this place. See all of these buildings there? They are, they, they are, they, uh, they're wearing, they, those buildings were, uh, were wearing around by then. All these places used to be so um all these places used to be bushing so but now see how they are the places are so looking good and this is another place that someone is trying to also build that place so these are buildings along the way this building they haven't finished with it yet okay they haven't finished yet they have to paint and all that but it is nice when you look you see it from outside even though i'm not going inside to show you the entire building 
okay so even here in this community whether this person is rich or poor you will notice that the house they will build will be a little bit like okay like uh durable it, it is not those zing run houses that people used to live in in west point and other communities but they are trying on this side people that live around here they are trying their best to build places like you see even this house this person is not all that rich like they they are not very poor but at least they they, they build their, their their home in a way that they are comfortable in it okay they they don't have to build it to like extra you know like someone who is rich but at least they they build it in a way that their children will feel comfortable living in it and say that okay my mother or my father has a house so that's all i'm trying to show you things that librarians are doing now like you see these are some of the homes we are talking about neat and very beautiful even though they are not infants but they are very beautiful they are neat you know very nice so keep following us as we go so this is um this this transformer here that they are building is for electricity the city power so this place we really don't have city power here so we are using community current what we refer to as community current is the uh, you know like somebody have a generator in a community and decide to supply power to those who want or current in their homes so you pay them at the end of the month and they give you current every month they, you pay them they give you your current so it depends on the amount of current you want if you want two arms you want three arms you want four arms you pay for it and they give it to you so this is the transformer and we are in rainy season so sometimes the video is not too bright don't think that it is dark because of the rain so the place is a little bit dark, like cloudy. That's why the place is like this. But a few uh, months from now, we will be having power in this community, like city power. So it won't be too expensive anymore. Because even if you're buying one arm, or you're paying for one arm every month for this community current, you can't even put your TV on. You have to pay for maybe from two arms up to put TV on. So if you have an AC, just know you pay for five arms. So as you can see, this person is also constructing. There's another new building here that they are constructing. You see it? In a few months, this building will also finish. And you see it looking so nice and so, so beautiful. So as you can see, these are some of the houses um, that I'm showing you around. This is what we are doing here in Liberia. Building our home, building our country. And... <clears throat> our places that we will rest when we are older and retire from our jobs in other countries these are places that will come and rest ourselves so you can do the same for yourself too you never know when you will need to come home okay so these are other buildings along this place okay so this is a smart community again Thank you for watching Liberian TV Network. We will stop you people here for today. And then next time, we will take you to the other side of Smart Community. Smart Community is very big. They call it a Smart Community because there's a school all the way behind there, that side, that is called Smart Institute. So because of that, they named this whole community uh, smart community. So thank you for watching Liberian TV Network. We love you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos.